How's it going guys? Continue to fill more questions for US Simile. I have a student who's asking from within our Telegram group uh, that now that the step one is pass fail, which it's August uh, 2022 at the time of this clip, so yes, step one has been pass fail since January of this year. Um, should he or she spend more time clearing the basics or is it okay to just rush and take the exam? All right. Uh, and he or she is aware that as I've talked about in some of my prior YouTube clips that yes, step one prep is integral to step two prep as well. Okay. So that is an argument in favor of not necessarily rushing your basics, but I can give you a clean answer here. Okay. To what extent do you need to, uh, focus on all the nitpicky stuff for step one versus can you just sort of sit the exam quickly now that it's pass fail. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. So once again, should we rush uh, prep for step one now that it's pass fail? Or should you actually go through slash jump through all the hoops of making sure you know your basics? Uh, my response to this is that, yes, as you've uh, nicely cited uh, with regard to my prior comments on my other YouTube clips, that the best prep for step two is solid step one prep. So I get plenty of students, half of my students uh, who my tutor are for step two, and I notice that if students are scoring poorly on the 2CK material, it's just that they have poor step one foundation. Aortic regurge, cardiac tamponade on 2CK, it's the same thing as step one, okay? Yes, you'll get some management questions, but you get students who don't know a diastolic from a systolic murmur studying for step two, okay? So sans all of the molecular embryologic nonsense, some of that content that is specific for step one, yes, uh, when we talk about step two material, especially internal medicine, there is significant overlap, okay? So my response is, how does this factor into your actual study? Answering your fucking question, I see it as extremely audacious to take step one without at the minimum doing UWorld, okay? I want you finishing UWorld, okay? There can be a time and place for curtailing your U world, if you're in a situation where your school is forcing you to sit, they say, no, fuck you, you have to sit in three weeks or you're dismissed. There are situations in which, okay, we can curtail someone's U world prep. But in general, if you have a bit of flexibility, I want you finishing U world for step one. And then you're going to do NBMEs 20 through 30, those 11 forms plus free 120. And I've made tons of clips on this stuff. How to review all the NBMEs, how to go through UWorld, should you annotate? Okay, I've made lengthy clips. Uh, for the sake of this clip though, UWorld, yes, you're going to finish it for step one. You're going to do NBMEs 20 through 30. I want you going through my PDFs, my free PDFs on my website. High yield arrows is most integral to getting you to pass. Okay, it's highly specific. It rules in you passing the step one if you know high yield arrows very well. Some students might go through high yield arrows, but they don't actually know high yield arrows. They can say, yeah, I went through the PDF three times. They say, okay, and then I ask them a basic question regarding shock values or bleeding time PT, PTT, or basic endocrine. They still they still don't know. So I want you knowing high yield arrows, and I want you going through my audio cue bank here on the YouTube on downtime. Okay, there's playlists. Search micro. Okay, farm, if you're saying for step two, search pediatrics, etc. So that's your tetrad, especially, uh, essentially, for step one. UWorld, all the NBME exams, my PDFs, and my audio cue bank. You're studying for 2CK, you're going to know the clinical master series forms as well. Those are just the NBME forms in subject specific. Lengthy discussion, I made prior clips on this. You know the deal to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.